This video, video will show you how to use NetBeans to create Java programs and how to transfer it to your Linux account and the compile it running over there as well. So first you launch NetBeans, first time you will have a, a this kind of screen. Let me close the start page. So you create a project, a new project. And the type of the project we will use in our class is Java, Java applications. That is the only one. Click next. Uh, then you need to choose the location of the project. The project uh, is a logical term inside the NetBeans, uh, physically in Windows, uh, that is a folder. So here you choose the location of the uh, project uh, we are going to create. Uh, I recommend you to use uh, either Dropbox or Google Drive or SkyDrive from Microsoft or Amazon.com's cloud drive so that you don't lose uh, your files uh, in case your computer crashes. Uh, so I place the location of a project in the SkyDrive, a NetBeans project and so on and so on. And then here I give a name of the project. Uh, uh, let me put it as a demo one and then that folder will be created uh, and then uh, do not turn this on so be sure to turn this off uh, create main class uh, so be sure to turn this off uh, and then finish it then uh, the new project is created in NetBeans, as you can see here, demo one is created, and some subfolders are created automatically. So this is a logical view of the project I just created. In the subfolder structure, we have a source package, and you have library. And then you can see default package here. In earlier screen, if you you didn't turn off the create main class, you you will see other than default package. So you should you can check it out uh, whether you messed up in earlier stage or not. The files tab shows the demo one folder in the, in the physical structure. So you use SRC is a folder that appears in Windows system and, and then others. Uh, so your Java program will be placed under SRC folder as you create. Uh, so you should memorize uh, this location so that you can transfer the Java programs uh, to your Linux account. So mostly we will work with uh, logical view uh, project uh, folder uh, view. So from the net uh, default package we do right click new in Java class uh, to create a Java program. So this is a, a Java program test uh, is uh, the name of the class I'm going to create uh, and finish it. Some template codes are automatically created. Here, the comments are automatically created. Two, when uh, all these comments either clean up or make it meaningful, don't simply leave it as is. Uh. And the, to become a minimalistic Java program to run, we need a public void a static void main class or function in C++ term string and args. Args are name of the parameter so you can choose it to a different name and then inside of this method uh, you can use all those C++ construct uh, uh, variable definition uh, if switch do loop while loop for loop and so on so let me simply Define a for loop int i is 0, i is less than 10, i plus plus. And then uh, C out in C plus plus that is equivalent to system, equivalent to system dot out dot println in Java. So I can print hello world uh, in the string concatenation value of i. As you finish writing program, save it and then right click on the editor window and you can choose a run file to run the program. 
then the output is produces dot on the lower window here hello world zero through nine is printed and the, the, a green letter builder successfully is coming from the netbin system only those uh, black ones after the run column is uh, what the program produces when a uh, program is running successfully from the netbins it's uh, running of course in in this uh, pc then uh, you need to transfer to the linux uh, make sure that it runs on linux as well so you use a winscp to transfer files from your computer to linux if you are a mac user you could use a filezilla or fugu those are uh, uh, scp utility application programs so cs.uco.edu is the linux server and then your account number should be given here you will have a sa uh, HS and the three digits are uh, it's your account number so type that one and then you will be prompted for password as well but I have saved all those ones so it's uh, just uh, get in there automatically and the left hand side is your PC file system right hand side is your <coughs> Linux uh, <coughs> excuse me Linux counter uh, so you could uh, create a new folder in the Linux, uh, it's called the directory, uh, to test uh, your NetBeans project. So let me create uh, on this Linux side, uh, let me create uh, a folder, uh, demo1. So demo1 is created, go to there, and then I need to locate uh, the location of the project uh, which is on uh, SkyDrive now so I'm going to choose uh, the location here is SkyDrive and the NetBeans project in the demo one is uh, there uh, location of the uh, NetBeans uh, project uh, and then if you remember programs are in SRC folder so test that Java is there move it to your Linux count uh, and it's uh, moved there then uh, use a PuTTY from Windows or some terminal from Mac connect it to Linux server CS server type in your username and password uh, and uh, I placed it in a demo one folder so here is demo one folder so Linux command cd change directory is the command as demo one now I am in a demo one directory ls is to list the files also test.java has been moved to Linux count uh, then you need to compile and run it so Java C is a compiler in the Linux, so test that Java that compiles the Java program. No news is good news, and no compiler. If you do ls, now you will see that test that class is created. That is a compiled code. <clears throat> now you can ready to run the compiled code. To run the Java program, compiled one is Java without the C and then given the name of the file without the suffix dot class simply type Java press enter then program runs so this is how you can verify the program you created using NetBeans in your PC is working on Linux as well so in this course whenever you have an assignment or quizzes make sure that your program runs on your Linux account because I'm going to grade it and evaluate it from Linux count.